Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Veggie Patch in Perth. Um, Happy New Year, firstly to everyone, and I hope you all had a great Christmas. Um, well, it's Sunday afternoon, and uh, you'll have to excuse me as I am having a brew. And this is actually one of my home brews. So this one here is a Corona style beer, and brewed it myself, and I must say, It tastes pretty damn good. Anyway, enough of that. Um, now, if you live in Perth or anything like me, you're probably wondering, where the heck's summer gone? It's now January. We haven't had a day over 40 degrees. And today, it's only 32. And yes, fair enough, tomorrow it's going to go 35. But there's a day after, back down to 28. So, I don't know what's going on summer this year is very very mild um, and my patch has probably been affected pretty badly by it one by the fact that I have this shade cloth to protect myself from the extremely hot days but there hasn't really been the hot days and it's one of those things where I can't exactly just take it off and put it back on it's, it's a bit of a job to do so yeah especially uh, with the tomatoes I've had mold problems and uh, a few bits and pieces and especially the zucchinis, once the cooler days sort of came back after we had a small heat wave. I've had big problems with powdery mildew and whatnot, but um, yeah, just one of those years, I guess. Um, anyway, we'll get into it. Firstly, I'll show you these rosemary, which I've grown from cuttings. Um, today, actually, I've had a pretty busy busy day today, but I'll, I'll get through that. Um, what I've done here, they start to sort of get one long sort of stem on them. So I've sort of lopped them off today because what that will do is force them then to split again and sort of bush out more rather than just have one stalk. So um, I've done that to all of these today. As you can see, I've got the, the uh, sprinklers on the go at the moment, watering all the herbs at the back there. Um, the spring onions that we've been using, I've sort of cut a couple of seeds off today and uh, they've gone into a bag to dry so I can save the seeds. Um, if anyone wants them, I'll put them up on the WA Seed Exchange site probably you know, in a month or so's time. But if you're not in WA, don't bother because uh, it's too hard. Our quarantine is extremely strict over here so it's pretty costly to move things around interstate as Rob Bob knows. Um, the capsicums have finally started. Here's a nice example of one here. And there's a few more just sort of starting around here. Um, the tomatoes, I've gave, given them another clean up today. They're pretty much finished. Well, I thought they were, but then. Um, a few have sort of thrown a few new shoots like uh, oh, this is a bit hard to balance this one up here um, and a few of the other ones so I did a big harvest today um, I might put a picture up on the Veggie Patch in Perth Facebook page of the tomatoes I picked today because it's looking pretty bare now um, so yeah there's more capsicums on the go there's another small one here uh, this one has another nice one there. Um, so yeah, the capsicum's doing okay. Uh, the chilies, very poor this year. Here's the baby chilies, but they are tiny. They are like too small. This area is just far too shaded, and we've had far too cool weather. So. Yeah, I have this, but then I have this tree here. So this tree is just providing far too much shade. So I think next year, definitely the tomatoes and the chilies I'll put in the other uh, patch on the other side of the shed. And the lettuce and that sort of stuff I'll grow in, um, in these two. Um, what else? Yeah, you can see here this chili. Oh, this was a paprika that's um, pretty damaged. And this one here is the habanero, which is just getting a few leaves on it now. So, uh, leaves, flowers. So we'll see how that one goes. Hopefully I'll get some out of that. But 
yeah, I've learnt, learnt my lesson. Definitely the chilies work better over the other side. This bed had the cucumbers here. Um, they failed. I did show a picture last week, so cleaned them out today and they're all gone. The squash and the zucchini, they've um, all been cleaned up now. Try, I cut all the leaves back. And you can see they're still flowering. So sometimes what I've found is if you cut all this back, you'll get like a second win. Like they'll kick off again and you'll get a second crop. So wait and see how that goes. Um, the zucchinis are trailing off the side here. And uh, yeah, you see this corn here is doing okay. We've got one cob there coming along nicely and another small one just on the side here so that's very good um, I'll quickly pop over the other side you can see here I've done a fair bit of cleaning up the, the rosemary I sort of cut this up this needs to be sort of sawn off back here but I sort of shaped it a bit because it was sort of taking over and smothering the, the mint so um, yeah I, cut that back actually I need to quickly change the sprinklers sorry I'll do this big video to show you what I have to do uh, okay this one that way that one that way okay sorry about that back to it right basil it's going really well a little bit wilted today, but it's been pretty warm, like I said, 32. Uh, ripped out the parsley through here. It's all sort of stacked up here, you can see there. Uh, that had all bolted and, well, not bolted, but been in there for quite some time and gone to seed, so that's all gone now. The onions, they've all been pulled out of this bed now, so you can see here. And of onions I have diced some and sliced some but you know I just have only so much room in the freezer yeah plenty lettuce started pulling some of the lettuce out and giving it to the chickens but I'm keeping one of each variety and letting it go to seed so there's one um, that's coral green green coral there's a, a red coral going to seed here and this one's a green oak leaf so I'll keep the seed and that one at the back there is Mizuna um, the rock melons are doing really well see there's a nice size one there it's probably three quarters of the way there actually so very happy with the rock melon um, oh. The snake beans. And I'll come around the other side and show you the snake beans. Snake beans are doing really well. Heaps. Um, I'm trying to pick through ones to save for seed. This one here, I don't know if you can see, I'm saving for seed. It's got some nice sort of pods forming through it. But we're harvesting heaps and heaps of these snake beans at the moment they're just everywhere and I do prefer these to the purple beans that's for sure so I'll be planting more of these a lot more of these um, next year that's for sure there's, a, there's another rocky there rock melon another one over the back here so plenty of rock melons this bed the um, golden beetroot's been taken out I'll, sorry I didn't show you that I'll put a picture of that up on Facebook now if you're looking for the Facebook page just go to the um, YouTube my YouTube Veggie Patch in Perth homepage and there's a link um, in the top right corner that'll take you to my Facebook page um, watermelon no watermelon yet but there is one I saw today where was it? Down here. So hopefully that got um, pollinated. That'll be the first watermelon. The carrots, I have saved some of the seeds. 
I'm just waiting on these ones to brown off a bit more and I'll keep those ones as well. Um, what else? The beans, they're still here drying. Uh, there is some that are pretty much ready, like in here. This one here is ready. So is this one. I'll keep the seeds and same with those, these purple beans are very prolific so if anyone wants them I'll put them up on the WA Seed Exchange site um, probably in the next month or so. So there'll be plenty of purple beans um, for everyone. Um, one more quick round out here. Hang on. One more gulp of that. All this talking is thirsty work. Oh, um, what was I going to show you? Oh, harvested a sunflower seed. Well, what's that? A whole flower, actually. This one's perfect. Got to it before the birds did, and you can see here plenty of seeds. So I may put these ones up on the seed exchange. Um, I don't know. I'll see. They're not the yellow variety. These are the the cross. I can't remember what 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 they're called, but they've got a dark tinge to them. Uh, anyway, so that's that one. How about we go see if the chickens give me eggs today? I haven't checked them today, so hey 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 no 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 no. Oh, they're determined. They love trying to get out. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Ah, oh, look at that, bingo. Four from four. Four from four, lovely. Good girls. <laughs> Good girls. Ah, uh, they don't mind me petting them now. They're getting better, these chooks. Hey, come on. Hey. Good Chucky, but don't bite me. Anyway, um, oh no, 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 one or two more things to show you. Jeez, I forgot, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, this video is running over time. I do realize that. Oi, don't you get out. Two more things to show you. One, the spaghetti squash. Uh, where is it? Here it is. I've only got one of these, um, so I've never tried them before, but there you go, spaghetti squash. It's getting pretty heavy now too. And two, the Cinderella pumpkins. Now, I've got this one here, which is germinated, which is well, about the size of a squash. We've got this one, which is probably about three times the size of that again. And then up the end here, Big, big one. Where is it? Here. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. I've never grown these before, so I'm very happy. It's pretty heavy. Um, I don't think it gets much bigger than that. But, yeah. Beautiful. Happy days. Anyway, guys. Um, Sorry that video took so long. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next week. I've got to get back to it. More watering to do, so see ya.